Hello guys, so today we learn about uh, how to animate uh, UI or uh, add some loop animation or our, on our buttons and uh, panels uh, and add some sound effects like uh, on button click uh, and some mm, just uh, start in animations so create a new project Damn it. UI animation or you can try it with other name too okay just uh, it will not be depend on 2d or 3d project you can use this step on every of your projects <coughs> and now we are family of thousand mem more than thousand members so thank you so much thank you for showing love and affection toward my channel and thank you so much Okay, so now I'm going to add some sprites. So uh, I will use the other method and I find our sprite folder and just drag all these to our Unity project here. Okay, now I create another folder name it graphics okay, and just select them all and drag and drop into graphics folder ok so now just select all it and choose sprite 2d and UI apply it so now you can see the transparency ok so uh, now I'm going to create a canvas. Here it is. Just don't forget to set the scale with the screen size and skin space to camera and just drag and drop our main camera to render camera object. Okay, so now I'm going to add a button UI and uh, button ok double click on it so we can focus it focus on it set the pivot to left corner and move it to over there ok now I'm going to uh, the source spy change the source spy to one of the these. Okay, just remove the text and select the button and hit the set native size. Oh, it will become huge larger. So hold the shift so that the ratio will not distort it. Okay. <coughs> I'm uh, I'm a little bit sick. Okay, so now it is perfect. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Here and uh, again and again. Okay, so it could be open, uh, our UI button. Now we need to add a, a asset from asset store. So just uh, search for GIU uh, GUI animator. In this one.
yes it is totally free so uh, or uh, we can say it is a demo version but we can use it and we can use we can make a basic animation with using this asset so just select all and import into our project okay so it is Im imported now select all these buttons and uh, add the component and search for GUI now uh, we need to add the GUI NM free make sure it's a GUI NM free okay so you can see uh, there is a already an item named GUI NM system okay so we can just disable it so uh, the watermark will be removed but this parameter is going to work don't forget this uh, this parameter is going to work like a GUI speed and idle time and animation mode okay so we select these buttons and uh, okay so one of these you can try by yourself or uh, just enable the movement animation or you can uh, <coughs> make it scale in or fade in uh, and rotation okay so just delay time to 3 and speed also to 2 now just hit the play and uh, see the effect Oh, it's moving but the direction is not so good so I uh, I will change it to uh, what I'm screen is mm, here it is and uh, if we had any loop so uh, I will just I am go just going to use the scale loop and uh, the and there is no delay time and uh, it will be two. Okay, just uh, play and uh, see the effect. Here it is come and uh, it's a style looping but uh, it's a little bit slow. So I am going to uh, just. Uh, reduce the time to 0.5 okay now it's four times faster okay now you can see the animation on this button okay so you can try try this by yourself i'm just going to show you some of them uh, it's a fade loop okay time to one no delay okay just start yeah, you can see the uh, fade in fade out effects on this uh, button but you can hit it on every time now you can see the uh, loop is uh, stop okay so now we need to go to uh, GUI NM system and uh, increase this time to 10,000 or whether now when we start this will be loop timing now it will not uh, stop looping okay and uh, you can try others too uh, like uh, like scale out
after 5 second or 10 second ok after 10 second time should be 2 no 1 1 is ok so let's play and see the effect now after 10 second this button will be this uh, just scaled out or uh, invisible or disappeared so user won't click the click on it uh, is it going to work or not I don't know whether it is 10 seconds from a start or not. I think I should uh, use less delay time. <laughs> okay, just stop it and uh, also uh, use the scale in animation. 1 delay time is 3 and now uh, delay is 3 ok or it should be ok ok 3 let's start the ok so now you can see the start in animation moving Okay, so now I'm going to uh, add a script on this button. Oh no. Create an empty object and name it Sound Manager. Sound Manager and uh, add a, a new script named sound manager effects <coughs> sorry sorry for it uh, uh, now uh, edit the script on visual studio or model develop or whether you want to be so just uh, I am going to download some uh, cool effects, uh, cool sound effects for our game. So I am just suggesting a website named zabsplat.com. Okay, here it is. So uh, you need to log in first so that you can use the uh, server or whether so. I am just going to use multimedia click search for it and here are some effects of clicks ok so just download which, which you want to use on the game I just download this mp3 file Actually, I don't know where this come from. Just cut it and press Control G. And uh, hit so in folder button. And just drag and drop to Unity. Yes. Create a new folder named audio effects okay so okay now 
need to write something in our sound manager script first of all we will create a audio source audio source private audio source name audio source okay now we need to create a public audio clip public audio clip public audio clip should be button click button click now we create a new function public void button sound so in start method we just get the component equal to get component audio source now we can use this audio source dot play one sort and pass the click name clip name sorry okay so it's button click and uh, okay now it is okay now go to unity and uh, sound manager on add component and add a audio source just taking time while it's compiling now add component and looking for i'm looking for audio source and uh, button click this is the audio file now we need to uh, select all these button and add our own click event just drag and drop the sound manager here and uh, go to sound manager effect and the script and call the button sound function okay and now when uh, i play the game and and uh, yes yes it is working actually the uh, mute audio is on so now i can listen the uh, so click sound on every click so you can try this cool trick on your uh, game ui thank you so much <coughs> uh, please subscribe my channel for more videos i will create the second part of this video today for uh, for tongal uh, here it is a for how to use tongal group okay how to use tongal group here it is the tongal transition graphics and uh, Yeah, here it is uh, the tongle group how to use this uh, it is a value whether the four tongle is in the children of an object then if you uh, turn on one then three will automatically disable so we can we can learn how to use this tongle group in next part thank you thank you so much